Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Fireman ETV. Back at it and back again with another video. And as you can see, man, I'm back with a list, a top five, the hardest video yet for me. Shouts out to the Fire Squad. Shouts out to everybody that's been showing love. Shouts out to everybody that's been just tuning in and just, you feel me? Just trying to get in tune with your boy. I appreciate all of the love. I got a lot of videos coming this week. I got to do some editing, so I had to drop this real quick because I was challenged. But yeah, we got to we gotta show a major love, you know what I'm saying, to everybody that's in the sneaker culture, to everybody that really got genuine love. I've really been doing this for a lot of years. You know what I'm saying? About 15, you know what I'm saying? Probably plus. So yeah, this is not a, a easy list for somebody like me that's really like heavy into the to the shoe culture. You know what I'm saying? So this is not like my solid, solid list, but right now list. And I wanna be fair, you know what I'm saying, to everybody that's watching. I know you can critique me. You can go down in the comment section below and state your opinion about your top five sneakers of all time, you know what I'm saying? Because you really got to do your research. Hold on, focus, focus. So, I mean, with that being said, man, I'm going to just get into this list. This is my current list. This is my, mm, I say about a good 24-hour list. Like, I thought about it over 24 hours. I write something down, delete something, write something down, delete something. So, this list has been swapped so many times, but my top 10 would be a lot different, and I would be more comfortable with a top 10. Let's get into number five. I'm, I got it written in my phone, so... Number five, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure it's on a lot of people list, not everybody, you know? But this one is the Air Force One, the classic G Fazo, crispy white. Only wear when it's white. If it's not white, it ain't right type vibe because it's accessible. Anybody can get it, but it gotta be worn right. But it's on my list because it holds value as far as a shoe in general. It's from, you know, it, it, it held at a high plateau for a long time. So I'm, st I'm not knocking nobody if it's lower. Like I said, this is my list for 24 hours. It, it would have changed if I had another, you know what I mean, some more time to really sit and think, you know what I'm saying? Not moving around and being distracted by people and things and issues and problems. But that's my number five and I'm sticking with it for right now. Mm -hmm. I will have a separate list where it's top 10. And I'm gonna, y'all gonna see. There's gonna be more parts to this, but this is my. But anyway, let's get it to number four, guys. Let's get it to number four. Number four. Ooh, this is a tough one. And only reason I chose this one as my number four because it's a collab. It's the Off White Nike Air Force One MCA. Now, the MCA is a beautiful shoe. It's a beautiful, beautiful shoe. That doesn't mean it deserves to be lower because it's a beautiful shoe. Or it doesn't mean like, it wasn't like, oh man, I gotta get my money together so I get to go, gotta go get this shoe. It will be in my collection, you know what I'm saying? Believe that, but it's not like my right now because my right nows are different. I got a list of those. I'll share those with y'all on maybe my Instagram. So y'all go follow me on Instagram. That's below in the description. So yeah. And yeah, so with that shoe, it's just the colorway. You know, the coordination of how they did it. They hit it, I think Virgil, that might be your best collab, in my opinion right now. You know what I'm saying? You got some dope collabs. I don't wanna just say that in a sense of like, downplaying anything else, but for me, that is my my top collab. Now we're gonna move on to number three. Now my list is crazy. See, in my mind I'm thinking I should've changed some things, but anyway. Uh, number three is the Travis Scott Jordan One High. I like the high and low. I really like the high and low. The low will be in my collection for sure in the high, but the low first. Uh, and I didn't put the low because it's like more of a personal taste. It's not like gonna be a super major thing. But anyway, on my list is the Air, the Air Jordan One Travis Scott High. And the reason why is because you got the, the earth tone brown and the white with the black with the reverse swoosh is just so unique, so cool, so, you know what I'm saying? A chill vibe and that represent my personality and my opinion. So when it comes to the Travis Scott collab, he really did his thing with that one. And I'm not mad at him, you know what I'm saying? Like not going away like, oh, let me go straight to the red. Let me go straight to a blue colorway. He didn't do that on that one, so I was like, hmm, I, I see where you're going. And the sixes was re really dancing on the edge with that uh, with that choice. 
Now, as we can see, I'm more Nike and Jordan. That's just how I grew up and that's just my vibe. You know what I'm saying? But let's go into, whoo. Now this is different. This is going, you know what I'm saying? This might not be on everybody's list, which is okay. But for me, when I look at the, the on foot, the colorway, the, the approach, the detail, the detail is what got this at number two. And it will be in my collection, but it might be later on down the line. But hey, I will get them. I promise you that, y'all. My strong, 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 strong number two is whew, the Nike Air Yeezy Pure Platinum. Now, he got different colorways, but the Pure Platinum is such a, you know, a marvelous shoe. And it has its own unique look like I can say I can put that next to another shoe. Now Red October is a tie for me with that one. Believe me. Believe me. It is a tie with the Red October because the Red October. Red is my favorite color, by the way. It's a tie for me, but just for the sake of the video, because I was in a limited time situation, along with you know, um, just out of the blue. Wasn't no warning. This is just, I seen a video. I was challenged, so shout out to Ayo Kicks, girl. Y'all make sure y'all follow her down below. The link her link is down below. She trying to get y'all on these sneakers, so her, her content is about sneakers, cleaning them, her collection, tips, all that good stuff. So make sure y'all go below and spam her up everything. But shouts out to you for, for, you know what I'm saying? Having me on a hot seat for this journey. This is crazy, the platinum, the pure platinum. Now, when you look at the pure platinum, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have the picture, of course, up in the corner where this on this side or that's, I don't know. But anyway, when you see the shoe, man, just visualize outfits. That's how I do. That's how I've been doing lately. So it's been a personal, personal thing. So don't, don't quote me heavily like, oh, that's the shoe you picked over the Red October. I, I'm tying it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't write it down, but I am tying it from a personal point of view. They are in my top 10 and they might move down the list tomorrow. I wake up like, dang, I think the Red October's might be my number two or my number one, whatever the case may be. Now, this is the hardest one. Like, um, I mean, I got in the crib maybe like two hours ago. I said, I'm gonna do this video as soon as I get in the crib. But thinking about number one, and this is not really my number one, y'all. I have another tie for number one, but for the sake of the video, like I always say, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna be um, real with myself and just be upfront. This is the first thing to kind of mind. I kept erasing it, kept putting it back between these two shoes. I'm gonna tell you the one that I took off and it was a tough one because of the colorway, the, the, uh, the model of the shoe, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm only on one, you know, the Nike Jordan wave. So the one that I did take off was the Chicago Jordan one, which was very, 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 very tough for me, you know? So it became that strong, like, ah, should I do it? And I literally, you know, downloaded the picture and everything, you know, so it, it became, a strong thing for me to, you know, try to decipher, see if I should really, really, really take it off my list. And I end up doing it, unfortunately. But my final, 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 final number one, y'all, is the Air Jordan Bread 11. I actually got this one, you know what I'm saying, in the collection. So that's what make this one special. I wear these on occasions. I bring my shoes out. This ain't no, you know what I mean, no DS or BS, you hear? We wear our shoes. So with that being said, man, that Bread 11 is something special. Every time I look at it, you got that patent leather, but that Jordan 1 is my favorite model. So that's why be, that became hard. But I just love how they coordinate the colors and all of that. This is the last one. This is not the one from the other years and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Shouts out to that, but I ain't have it then, but I got it now. And that's all that matters. But yeah, with that being said, man, those are my top five. So we're gonna run it back real quick and we're gonna end the video off. Number five is the Air Force One, just the icy white. You feel me? Come I gotta have that. The off-white uh, Air Force One MCA is my number four. See, in my head, I'm like, ooh, I should've changed something. That is a beautiful shoe. I feel like that's the best looking shoe out of my collection. I think, I would say. And then you got the Travis Scott Jordan one for number three. 
and um, you got the Nike Air Yeezy Pure Platinum. Whoo, the colorways, they blend so beautifully. I feel like they blend the best out of my list. And the Air Jordan Bread 11, beautiful shoe, the colorway, mm, make everything go crazy. You can wear a nice fist with this and it's just bring it out. I have old people asking me, hey, where you get those from? Those and those Concord, they love that little shiny look. Maybe it's from them wearing shiny shoes when they was a kid going to church, who knows? But I'm not judging. Shouts out to the elderly, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for y'all, maybe life wouldn't be a certain way. I don't know. But yeah, man. With that being said, that is my top five. Shouts out to AO Kicks, girl. Make sure y'all spam her up down below. Subscribe to her channel. She just started it, man. So she's going to be bringing y'all some dope content. And you know what I'm saying? I accepted the challenge. It's a 48-hour challenge. So I will be uploading this tonight. It's going to be a late upload. But I don't care. I got to keep rocking. I got some crazy dope videos. Dope videos that I want y'all to be in tune with. That is dropping this week. I'm going to upload every day of this week. So when you see this video on Monday, which is today, be excited because Tuesday, banger, Wednesday, banger, Thursday, banger, Friday, banger, boom, I got part twos, I got would you rathers, I got et cetera, et cetera, so make sure y'all tune in with your boy, 5 Me ETV, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and yeah, man, shout out to my boy Fair Game, he going crazy, so make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to my boy, man, like, just subscribe, you know the value of your boy, 5 Me ETV, and I'm signing out this thing, man, peace.